110 years of tasty taffy and other delightful desserts. Dolly's Candyland is an Ocean City staple and is in its fourth generation. Anna Dolly Bushnell is one half of the duo currently leading the operation. And she is the final woman we're highlighting today as we finish learning about the women of Worcester County. Del Marble Lights, Katie's really sat down with her to chat about the business that she's been involved in, basically, since birth. The dessert designing dynasty that is Dolly's Candyland began humbly more than 100 years ago. Anna Dolly Bushnell's grandfather and great-grandfather came to Ocean City from Brooklyn on carousel manufacturing business, but quickly got the desire to create candy. And they fell in love with Wicomico Street and the boardwalk, so they built a, um, a carousel there, and on the property there was a man that was making saltwater taffy. So they ended up buying that man out and expanding the candy business to include um, popcorn, caramel popcorn, taffy, and caramels and fudge. After a fire in 1925 tore down their candy operation and their carousel, they decided to rebuild and stick to the sweet biz. Years down the road, Anna's father and mother took over, and it's safe to say she herself was being groomed from the get-go. I have pictures of myself in my walker on the floor, um, and I do remember being in a box, like my dad would put me in a box underneath the taffy machine. She developed a passion for the family business that brought her right back after leaving for school. It's like in, in our blood. You'll find one small example of her innovation when you buy saltwater taffy. I took the images from a popcorn box of ours from the 20s, and we used that. So there, if you really pay attention, it really is a nice souvenir box. Anna and her brother took the operation over back in 2000. She does administrative duties and marketing. He does more of the manufacturing. I cannot make the taffy. I can make it by hand, but I don't know how to turn the machines on. <laughs> If you ask me anything about, you know, like online or, um, you know, any of our social media or opening up new stores, any sales, I, I got you. <laughs> I can do chocolates, though. I can make chocolates. Just like her 71-year-old dad. We're back here in the Dolly's demonstration room, and my friend Rudy Dolly is making some almond, almond clusters. clusters. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this is done. All right, very simple. Mm -hmm. A couple, three almonds, three or four almonds, work it around in the chocolate. Being sure that the chocolate is tempered. Yeah. Okay, turn it over and right onto the tray. Nothing you make it look it. so easy. Nothing to it. Well, you're going to try it here in a minute. You'll see it's not very difficult. And this is milk chocolate. This is milk chocolate. See, they don't have to be perfect. We want them to look a little bit homemade. Okay. All right, here we go. Right, go ahead. Give All it right, a try. All right, so I'm going to take three. Right. Mm -hmm. that was, I have four. There's three. That's right. Oh, my goodness. The feel of that chocolate is insane. Work it around there. There you go. Know, kind yep. of squeeze them together a little bit. Squeeze them together. Oh. And, and turn your hand over. That? Yep. Now just put them right, keep your fingers together like that, put them right on the tray. Mine aren't going to look as gorgeous as yours. Not bad. Not bad. Um, let me try one more time. Sure. Now, Rudy, tell me, how many almond clusters do you think you've made in your life? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I've been doing this for a long time. Wow. I mean, I'm telling you, I just, this chocolate and the smell, I just... This is next level. All right. All right, turn, turn them over. Keep your hands together. Keep my hands together. Just put it right on there. Like, there you go. There you go. Pretty good. Each treat so rich and so sweet, it's almost impossible to pick a favorite. I really like the Baltimore truffles right now. Yeah. Right now. What and then tomorrow, it might be chocolate covered pretzels. It just depends on the day. Right. And then sometimes, yeah, I do have some taffy in my pantry that I, I won't lie. So at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I do enjoy a couple pieces of taffy. She also enjoys watching others experience taffy for the first time. Sometimes they're a little confused that it's a, you know, chewy candy, but it's not a toffee. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it can be different. Anna recounts the history and shares old photographs in a book she published this year called Dolly's Candyland, Inc. Flipping through the pages, one could easily be blown away by how things have developed over the last century. It's so different, too, you know, looking at the pictures from when it was and the old machinery of how they used to do things. What hasn't changed? 
the name and the family behind it. It's really an extension of our living room, um, and with our, we have an amazing staff that takes care of it like their own. So it's nice to walk in um, because we're often pulled all kinds of different directions, and when you walk into a store and it's like, oh, it feels so nice in here. Um, I really love that. Running a family operation and running a family isn't always easy, but Anna says she wouldn't want to do it anywhere else. This area is so conducive to uh, supporting each other that when you're honest with yourself and honest with like, hey, you know, I'm actually going to take a break and be with my kids. I'm not going to be in the store today. People are very understanding, but, um, but they really do support you. With such sweet support, the future for this business looks sensational. To find out more about Anna's book, Dolly's Candyland, Inc., or if you'd like to purchase yourself a copy, just go to dumbmarvelife.com.